So I've been lucky enough to spend time with some really good local coaches, also some really good county coaches when I was an amateur golfer. And since starting a YouTube journey and being on Dan's channel, I've managed to sort of be around some sort of world renowned coaches who have taught some of the best players in the world. So today we're gonna to talk about swing path and how we can change our swing path to then alter our shop shape. So the first sort of issue we're gonna sort of address with ball flight is the one where it starts for a right-handed golfer, a left to right shape. So for the first drill, grab a three wood. I suggest a three or five wood, not your new three or five wood, grab an old five wood because we don't want you damaging the golf club. So hopefully you've noticed I've teed the ball really high, almost like in a driver position. So the purpose behind this is what we're gonna try and do, rather than producing an out to in swing path, with the ball in the air, we're gonna get the impression or the feeling that we're actually gonna hit the ball from a more rounded position. So we're gonna try and hit the ball on the up off that tee to changing swing path from out to in, really to feel like we're going from in to out. So hopefully you'd have seen a significant difference between my normal swing path and the one I've just produced. I've really felt like I was coming from the inside. I've turned through and I've probably moved the ball sort of 15 to 20 yards through the air from right to left. This drill, the idea is to actually exaggerate the movement and to actually feel like you're swinging from the inside. The next stage to this particular drill would be to lower the tee down and still try and get the same feeling without actually hitting the, the ground. Even if we don't manage to completely eliminate the out to in swing, you should start to feel or should be reducing those numbers, which should in turn create a better ball flight. So the next drill would be for someone who hits the ball with a hook or moves the ball violently from right to left for a right hander. So for this drill, you need your driver. Again, I'd suggest an old driver, but you can use your current driver. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit the driver off the deck with no tee. So what I wanna be doing for this particular swing is to swing it on a slightly more upright plane. And make my swing path slightly out to in. If I swing the club too much on the inside, I'm going to have to almost perfectly time the actual swing to actually make any contact to get that ball airborne. So to help it get airborne, I'm going to swing it slightly steeper. I'm also going to try and hit a slight divot to try and get the ball sort of up the face of the club and into the air. So there's just a couple of quick tips how to change a ball flight. Let me know how you get on. Have you seen these drills before? Have you done any of these drills? And maybe have a go at these drills and see whether it does alter your ball flight. I would of course always recommend that you do seek advice from a PGA professional golfer. 